Well, I guess you could kind of see it that way, sure. <gasps> when you eat your 16th child as a tradition demands? No, a sweet 16 isn't when you eat your 16th child. Why are you having that many kids? All right, everybody, we are back to some more human. Or not. The game in which we try to suss out any sort of illegal activities from species from another planet. I'll allow it. Last episode, one of them popped up and they tried to mind control me and they couldn't. But then they made the interesting observation of, Hey, yo, yo, Erdlings a week, you will perish soon to our hands. But if you let me in, we won't kill you. We'll give you a high ranking position. I, obviously, I said no to that deal. What's wrong with you? Let's begin the brief end. Nothing new on the refugee crisis, however. Other than species of aliens continue their infiltration attempts, we have information about an alien criminal syndicate that's determined to get a foothold on Earth. Be vigilant and keep those scum away from Earth. If any suspicion arises, don't hesitate to alert Spaceport Security. If you get caught helping an unwanted immigrant, you'll spend the rest of your life in prison. That'll be all for today. Have a great shift. Excuse me? So... <laughs> Is this related to only this specific fugitive or in general? Because you see, I have a I have a side gig going on where I let some of them in. Oh, I don't know about this. You're springing this up on me when I'm almost at 42,000 to give back to my lovely sister who ghosts me in the morning and at nighttime, she just repeats the same thing over and over. Well, let's see what we got here today. Lani Momura, Mura, water harvesting, Habitat 6. Let's also give him the old x-ray while we're at it here. Save a little bit of time, he's from Habitat 6, occupation. I sell water harvesting equipment for ships and asteroid miners. Yeah, I bet you do. Nature of this visit, I have business here. Huh? You gonna bug out on me? Bug out, go for it. Literally turn into a bug. Oh, check this out, we have an immigration office here just like us. Just like you, I work at Yarn of Four. Or are you in disguise trying to get me to believe you're a fellow comrade? Oh yeah, fellow security immigration officer, how about that? Fine. Everything seems fine. But maybe, maybe he just knows how to fool the system. Oh, what does your blood work say? Teddy? Huh? Teddy's blood work seems legit. Validation though, let's see. Utah, Utah, Hedrick, Yarn of Four? Yes, everything actually matches up. Fellow comrade after all. Yo, what is this, Albert Einstein? <laughs> no, no. You see, I'm Tyson Billups, history professor. Yeah, yeah. Let's check out this guy's x-ray here. It's Albert Einstein in disguise, I'm telling you. Everything's good. Plays a resident Einstein. I am from the Earth. Occupation. History professor, yeah. Yeah, you're a professor, right? Oh, no, no need to specify the reason for entering back into your planet, huh? Bug out. Come on, Einstein, do it. No? Huh? See, so let's see what your blood work says, though, huh? Blood work says everything is fine. Is that really gonna get through? After I grilled him so badly? Yuta, Yuta, Tyson, Billups, history professor, 8987. Yeah, I guess it all checks out. Must be nice, Einstein. Okay, we got one more for the first day. Could this be? Could this be? Our Felicia stall. It's been sitting here waiting for a while. Felicia. Felicia, nope. This is actually Golda McGinnis. Gift shop owner from Luna. She got them bones. Well, we ask you these questions here, huh? From Luna. Bone work looking pretty good. Occupation, please. You got some really angry eyebrows, by the way. <laughs> Just noticed those. They're very angry. Yeah, everything seems to match. <laughs> I'm still salty about that gymnast one, by the way. Athlete and gymnast. Come on. Come on. Alright. No craziness with the first day. Which usually means it starts preparing you for something really, really crazy to go down. You got eight, two thousand, yeah. So I'm thinking if we get like roughly eight per day for the next two days, the next episode would finally be where we get 42,000. So presumably, we could buy our ticket out of this uh, planet. Next video, we'll see.
There is a new couple now there, too. They were getting into the entire capitalist socialist or capitalist communism thing. Harry and Davy, is it still going on? No, no, man. These will probably give you new stuff going forward. Foreign aliens take our jobs, changing our culture. I can't recognize our Earth anymore. They took our job. The aliens and riches, biodiversity, multiculturalism, and coexistence are what makes us better. Okay, day 16 is upon us. You know what I just realized right now? That. It's been two weeks. And this time around, there was no employee of the week for the second week. So I'm just saying, like, did, does that mean that I didn't qualify so I didn't even do the event or they didn't hold one? Because, I mean, I would take offense. We got one wrong finally last time around, but well, actually, that was a gymnast one, wasn't it? That was day 14, wasn't it? So it would have been in the day, the last day of the week. Did they really ding me for that? No, come on. After how many aliens attack me, I deserve Employee of the Week every single week. Good morning, Stevenson. Please join us. Let's begin the morning briefing. Ooh, he's moving around now. Oh, what are you doing this time? Despite our best efforts to contain illegal alien immigration, it appears that some aliens have succeeded in hacking the chips. Basically... Any alien with a valid chip in a complete human body can easily enter Earth. This is bad, but there's still hope for a possible solution. Recent studies in xenoziology, or psychology, have made significant advances in understanding similarities and differences among separate alien cultures. One thesis suggests that the average alien infiltrator is someone ignorant of human customs and behaviors. An alien infiltrator might alter its appearance and internal organs, but it its mind remains alien. Oh, that's white psychology. An alien probably wouldn't understand what baseball is, for instance. So what makes humans unique? Our culture, history, cuisine, art, etc. Homeland Security advised a knowledge test system that may help in exposing alien imposters by asking them different questions about human culture and customs. If a passenger replies with the wrong answer, there's some questions that most of all humans should know the answer to that the passenger is probably not human. I mean, what if they're just ignorant, though? <laughs> I mean, can we consider that being a possibility, too? I know, does that look on your face, Makowski? Yeah, I know. Some humans are cl <laughs> That's what I meant. Are clueless, especially those born beyond the horsehead nebula. But we're running out of options here. Today's briefing will be dedicated to instructing you on how to conduct a knowledge test. Okay, you guys are going to like this one too. So now we have knowledge questions. So let's see, we have Sebastian Horvard, our perfect candidate for this one. So let's do the old x-ray here first, get that out of the way. And meanwhile, we check the bones. Let's ask a couple of questions here as well. He's from Mars. What's the occupation? Journalist checks out. Bones, how's this looking? Looking fairly good. He works with the press as a journalist, that makes sense. Check out the blood now. Hope it doesn't fail before we get to the questions here. E fine there, good. Chippy validation. Ironclad. Sebastian Horvat. Journalist Mars. 7541, everything is fine. Here we go. So now he's got to answer at least three of these correctly. And we can also randomize them in case. I guess if you, you personally don't know the answer, you can randomize it if you can't figure it out. So, where is the mucus secreted from when you have a cold? Okay. What is a sweet 16? A birthday party. So, for instance, here, we, invent we asked who invented dynamite and also has a prize named after him. Doesn't know. But, I mean, do you know? I don't know who invented dynamite. In which sport can you do a hole in one? Bowling? No. So two already? I'm gonna say that's enough for alien for me. First one, you know what? I don't know. Second one should have been golf. Hey. Okay, maybe maybe she knows this answer. Who invented the dynamite? Alfred Noble. 
And also has a prize named after him, the Nobel Peace Prize. Wait, Nobel Peace Prize? And he also invented dynamite? I'm freaking out, man. <gasps> it's our girl. The chief said I'd go to prison, though, if I helped the ref the, the fugitives. Would she be considered a fugitive? All right, hold up. Let's find out. Ironclad, Felicia Stahl, Kendall 4, Unemployed, that all checks out. I'm kind of curious if she could fool the system. Mary had a little... <laughs> Mary had a little crab. And that's a form of an STD that Mary had there happening. Well, she's not fooling many people. But um, that was part of her objective here. Do I land in prison for this? Um, it was it was a mistake. <laughs> it was a mistake, Chief, I swear. We have a little bit of a conflict here. A turtle and a rabbit race, who wins? Funny tale, it's the rabbit. I mean, in a normal situation, yes, but in the tail, obviously turtle. However, what beats faster when one's in love? A speaker? No, it's you're supposed to be your heart. So, Statue of Liberty, where's that supposed to be at? Uh oh. What about that global pandemic? <laughs> By the way, have you ever wondered if it was supposed to be soccer or football? Case closed. It's supposed to be soccer. Sorry, Euro Bros. Okay, that's another day in the bag for us with a little bit of extra cash for old Felicia. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, 2,500. So yeah, 42,000. Next episode would be enough for us to get to that point. I'm gonna do one more day right now, which will get us to like maybe 39,000. So next one easily. Uh oh. And here we go. <laughs> what was that about? What was that about next episode, Easy Falcon? Oh no. Oh, what about Linda Blue? I couldn't end the game early with Linda Blue, but now you're telling me it's over because of Felicia? Officer Stevenson, you are a disgrace to these unif- It was a mistake! You deliberately allowed aliens to enter Earth for money? You have no proof. You're fired. You need to thank me for not involving home security in this. So long, Stevenson. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Well, I, I, I guess, um... There are alternate endings after all, huh? Oh god, I gotta do the entire day again without letting Felicia in. Okay, let me do that and then we'll skip to our real last day for this video. I'm sorry, Felicia, but not, not this time. Bye, Felicia. What I'm curious about is whether this dude's gonna be mad or not. Is it also out of my... Yeah, it's also out of my objective. There it is. In red. I mean, I let two of them in. Third one will get us fired, so that's no good. Hey, he's still there. Let's see. You failed me. I don't trust you anymore. Be gone. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, doesn't get fired. What can I say? Good morning, Stevenson. Please join us. Glad you didn't get fired last night or anything. Yeah, about that. Hello, officers. I hope the knowledge tests are going well. We had issues yesterday with some humans who couldn't answer simple questions and were misidentified as aliens. They were detained until they passed a complete investigation. Some investigations took hours and clogged the detention cells. I spent most of yesterday apologizing to people. It's not a perfect system, but we have no choice at the moment. I have no other news to report. You're dismissed. Yeah, I mean, that would happen, as I've mentioned. I mean, I'm a prime example myself. I didn't know two of them myself. I was like, who invented the dynamite? He's got a prize named after him. Nobel Peace Prize. Dynamite and Nobel Prize. You know, it just seems like it conflicts with each other. Peace and explosions, but hey. You don't, you don't necessarily have to use explosions for killing, do you, Falcon? I guess you're right about that. Ramonita. Ramonita Braton. Festival is the key, the key word for today. That all checks out. Knowledge says, let's see here. To be or not to be, that is... 
Right. What is a Tour de France? A little bicycle in action, huh? A campaign to promote French tourism? Well, I guess you could kind of see it that way, sure. <gasps> when you eat your 16 child as a tradition demands? No, a sweet 16 isn't when you eat your 16 child. Why are you having that many kids? I mean, you can have as many kids as you want, I suppose. I'm just saying, it seems like a very, very big burden, doesn't it? 16? Not even sure if I want one. Much less 16. <laughs> I like this guy. What's your occupation? I'm in the drug business. The legitimate one. Oh, yeah. Because pharmaceuticals are so legitimate, right? <laughs> Which fantasy race is most associated with the pointy ears? The elves? Uh, I would prefer knife ears, but sure, I guess. I guess we'll... We'll let that pass. Is it soccer or is it football? <gasps> He's an alien. He's an absolute alien. Look at that. Okay. He's probably right. So earlier when I said if we solved the solution between soccer or football. Well, Euro Bros, you got one on me now because now the game has switched over to football. Carson Sosa, the kindergarten teacher. All right, let's check out them bones here first. Now, are you in disguise? And please don't say devouring your 16th child. Okay, that's a little bit better. What about the guillotine? What is that used for? Cooking? N not, not if, no, you cannibal. <laughs> Caterpillar transforms into which insect? I would go for a spider. That's, that's also wrong. Who painted the Mona Lisa? It was not Vincent Van Gogh. He cut his ear off. Get this. Get this illegal alien out of here. Get him out of here. It's crazy. He's also a cannibal, possibly. All right, Rena, you're almost out of here. Sweet 16, please. So what do you got? Right, that's good. Who wrote Hamlet? Okay. Oh, let's see. A black cat just passed you by. What does it symbolize? Alright. It's three or three. Rena Duvall, I can't fault you. So. Nothing happened. I'm kind of curious if we'll probably get a dream sequence beyond just the flames. Oh no. So you telling me you have a sister? On Kepler Prime? Uh, yes. And you wish to go there? When? Uh... I mean, I kind of want to also pick Linda Blue. This isn't going to lock me to an ending, is it? I guess as soon as I have the money? Family's everything, Noah. You can leave whenever you need. You don't have to let me know in advance. We'll manage. Uh, thank you, Chief Jones. That's, that's nice of him, you know, even though you fired me a day, but <laughs> there you go. But although, even though you fired me, he didn't also report me. So maybe overall, Chief Jones isn't bad in general, because he could have reported us. So. Let's see if we get a dream sequence. Let's check up on Lynn one more time. And I think next episode would ideally be when we have enough money to make our trip. If we so choose to, and maybe also then is when you actually get to choose whether you want to leave or not afterwards because of Linda Blue. So, Lenny, baby. One last time. I like you, Lynn. I wish to remain here on Earth with you. Are we soulmates yet? <laughs> now, Harry and Davey are debating over basketball or baseball. You know... Boys, neither one I'm really too big on. If I had to choose one, I'd probably say basketball. But I mean, I'm all about football. And Euro Bros, I mean the American football. Otherwise, I had to say soccer, right? You know what I'm saying? Cricket? Nobody understands cricket. You gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. I guess I'll take basketball. Haha, <laughs> Noah, you're a fine individual. What does an immigration officer even know about these matters? Well, you guys should have said football. The real one. Okay, there was no dream sequence, so... 
I think we're locked for the next video to be the finale. We've got a couple of options, it does seem. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Stick around for that one, which should probably end it all unless something crazy happens, which, you know, we apparently have an alien invasion Do So that could probably happen before we get the money. Who knows? Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.